I'd say help yourself to a um, cheese stick, but you're not allowed in my house. For obvious reasons. <laughs> Digital gramophone makes no sense. I'm probably going to talk about the, um, the COVID-19, um, pandemic. I don't, I don't know if I'll have a specific time that I'll do it right now, or if I'll just in the middle of this video, just start rambling on like a madman but i've noticed i've been watching as many videos as i can and which is actually not that many i'm way behind um that's what um not going to work <laughs> but <laughs> it's led to me not being able to watch as many videos or listen to them um and really, it's also just because because all of us are home, there's some of you that are just making them, I mean, nonstop. But what I was saying is that um, I've noticed that a lot of videos, people are just kind of um, steering clear of the, of the topic. Like it's an elephant in the room situation or something. And, uh, I don't, I don't get it. Um, Rob Walker talked about it at the end of his most recent video and I loved it. And I feel like people should feel free to talk about it more because it's affecting us. You know, we might, we might want to treat the VC like it's some kind of escape. Um, and that's cool and all, and I get it, and, and it is. It is It is kind of like a, a break from things for a lot of us. Um, but this is different, you know? This is do it. Um, who cares what you say, you know? You might be surprised. And how therapeutic it might be for you. Um, speaking of therapeutic... I'm drinking a beer tonight. Um, nothing special. Uh, just a Shiner Bach. Um, but, yeah, I haven't even... I've probably had, at, at the most, three alcoholic drinks in the last three months. Um, I don't get out much anymore. Um... So I'm not around my friends that usually partake uh, in that type of stuff. And I just don't buy it and keep it in the house anymore. Um, I used to, and then I would um, crack one open when the kids were in bed. or um, This was before our baby was born, even when, when Sam was in bed and... Um, my wife was in bed and then I'd wake up on the couch uh, three hours later to a full beer. <laughs> so I just said, it's a waste of fucking money. So it's not out of a, uh, you know, um, trying to get dry or anything. Uh, just don't drink like I used to, but um, I'm not going anywhere these days. So why not? I'm working on um, quitting some other bad habits. Um, I don't know. One thing that I keep thinking about with all this is like, maybe, maybe the earth is kind of, this is the earth's way of telling us, uh, I need a fucking break. And, uh, maybe you should all just go home, stay inside for a while. <laughs> Let me heal or something. I don't know. I kind of feel like. And maybe this is optimistic. Silver linings and all of this. I kind of feel like maybe there's a chance that we might just be a healthier society in general after all of this. Maybe the next one will be the one that actually does wipe us out. 
I don't know. Nobody knows. Our fucking president sure doesn't know. Um, that's a whole nother thing. It's sad, but everything that's happening, the precautions that are being taken are necessary. Um, I feel like there should be more being done some places from what I hear, but you know, whatever. I don't even know if I'm gonna edit any of that. And then you'll see a straight cut to this. So this is not even really a response to a thread. Um, there is a thread going around with everybody showing their box sets, but I actually, Bill actually, Bill at the Vinylverse actually asked me a while back to, um, he was like, John, I'd like to see your box sets or what box sets you have or whatever. And um, so this is my response to Bill. And it just happens to be, while there's a thread going on <laughs> where everybody's showing their box sets, and I'm going to show all of of them. Some of them aren't even box sets. Uh, they're just kind of special uh, deluxe editions. But I feel like the presentation of them is worthy of showing in this video. But I'm going to start my CDs. And then I'm going to do my vinyl ones. No even real particular order. So here's one of the things I was talking about. It's not even really a box set. But this is a... Uh, this is a special release of um, Anthony and the Johnsons' um, Swan Lights. This was his album that came out in when 2010, and so it's got the, uh, the CD in the back, but then the rest of it is a hardbound book with a bunch of um, Anthony's um, writing and um, now Anoni, sorry, um, and photographs and artwork. Um, it's a really cool book. It's like a, it's like an, a real artist, you know, kind of one of those things where you'll see, you know, like a collection or an exhibit from a museum and then they'll sell a book that, um, went along with that exhibit. But yeah, it's uh, really cool. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. Doug Somm and the uh, Sir Douglas Quintet box. But yeah, it's basically uh, it's a cloth bound book with, um, it's got five discs in it. And, um, you know, a little a nice write up uh, with some photos and stuff. And yeah, it's basically the complete recordings of the Sir Douglas Quintet um, and then some of. Um, Doug Somm's solo albums, early solo albums. Not really any of the stuff that he did once he had moved to Europe or any of that. It's, you know, it's just five days, but kind of like the early years, the Mercury years and so on. I have uh, the Bruce Springsteen uh, River box set, which has this gorgeous hardbound book with just incredible photography and some lyric and uh, you know, press clippings and stuff like that. You have the Ties That Bind, the River Collection. I actually don't have the CDs in here. I only have one in here uh, right now, but yeah, it's uh, like a little keepsake uh, leather looking folder thing with a, and of course the composition book, what special Bruce Springsteen release isn't, is complete without a uh, composition book of his scribblings. Excuse me if I sound like I'm being a little quieter, it's because, um, you know, I'm recording in a time where I normally don't at night and uh, everybody's in bed. Um, I normally record in the daytime, but since we're all home right now, I can't do it. Um, if you find a video of me recorded in the daytime, it's because I begged my wife to get the kids out of the house and just take them for a ride in the car or something. So here's a box that I've shown now for the third time. This is the uh, One Kiss Leads to Another uh, girl group sounds lost and found. Um, this is a, 
I've shown this before. I showed it in a contest entry for Brad and another contest entry for Mazzy, but I never really opened it up. So yeah, so it comes in this like it's a, um, a compact, like a, uh, it's kind of a hat box, but it also kind of doubles as like a um, parasol or something like that. Is that the right word? And then on the inside, it's got this wonderful book with so much cool information. And I've actually read a good amount of this. Um, some of it I've forgotten, but... Um, it's just like one, you know, one little write-up about each song. But as you see, it looks like it's a diary, you know. And then on the inside, the four CDs all look like um, different uh, compacts. And they, they flip open and they all have a uh, reflective surface inside. So it looks like a mirror, you know, like in a, a compact mirror and that you would keep in your bag, uh, your handbag or whatever. There's, uh, I mean, Carol King's on here, like early Carol King. Um, uh, Dolly Parton is on here um, before she became really like a country star. She did some pop stuff, like there are a couple of pop songs, like in Nashville. But anyway, here's a really small box. And um, this is um, the immediate mod box set. It's just a three disc set. It's pretty cheap. Um, nothing special, but it, you know, it counts. It's a box. Here are the three discs. Bunch of great singles on here by like, you know, P.P. Arnold and John Mayall. Um, and uh, um, like Small Faces are on here. A um, couple of tracks by them. Chris Farlow. This was how I discovered the Mockingbirds. They have a great single on here. And the Mockingbirds had a couple of um, guys that went on to start 10CC. But yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's some, there's some nice... Underground, it's not you know nuggets quality or anything, but it's there's some nice mod, you know, stuff happening on that box. It's pretty cool. Okay, one of the other um, things that barely counts is so when REM started their 25 25th anniversary reissues, the first couple that came out on CD. You know, Murmur and Reckoning, they came out as just these deluxe edition two CD sets, you know, that everybody's used to seeing. Well, then from there, starting with Fables, they started putting them out in these boxes, these little boxes. So there's still only two discs, but they started including more stuff. So the two discs are in paper card sleeves, then there's a little, there's the little booklet uh, that comes with it. And all of them have like these little, you know, fake faux Polaroids of the band, kind of, um, that uh, were from whatever photography session they uh, did on each album's release and then and I'm not going to unfold this but every one comes with like a um, it's like a it's an eight, 18 by 24 maybe 16 by 20 18 by 20 I think it's an 18 by 24 poster I mean they're just tiny little two CD box sets but I picked up the one for Fables and uh, live search pageant and document and green and I stopped with green sorry um, I have all of these albums on vinyl already uh, which is a trick that I fall into with box sets 
But because I uh, had the vinyl of this already, I decided not to buy the vinyl reissue of this. Uh, I just bought it on CD. It's the Siamese Dream Deluxe Edition, which has a, um, let's see, a three disc box, like postcard inserts. You know, the insert of the actual CD that came out in 93 had had some of these photographs and some of these lyrics uh, written out on them. So it's just a kind of a different representation of that, this kind of a random thing, and then, uh, and then a booklet. Again, I almost have, I almost, I have almost all of these on vinyl, uh, but I, um, and I had all, I'm almost all of these already on CD, but when this came out, I decided to buy it, and it's a, uh, Smith's, a complete Smith's box, which was a Rhino release. And there's this little tiny booklet. Then there's the Smiths and the Meet is Murder and the Queen is Dead, even with the pink sticker on it. It's like all the CDs are a replication of the vinyl. The Smiths rank includes poster sticker, like it would on the album. Uh, a hat full of hollow. Um, louder than bombs, and uh, the world won't listen. I'm probably doing a horrible job of showcasing these guys, and I'm sorry. It's just a lot to look at down here and then show up here. Uh, this is another one of my favorites, um, and this is a um, this is the Magnolia Electric Company box. This came out in uh, 2007, I think. Magnolia Electric Company is the band that um, Jason Molina, formerly of Songs of Ohio, Songs of Ohio, uh, went on to form. It was really just like a fuller band version of Songs of Ohio, really. But yeah, it comes with this little, uh, I don't even know what that is, like a little, I don't know. But yeah, it's a wood box. It's like a pine, cheap pine or balsa wood, really probably balsa wood box. You can see that and the cover slides off. There's little inserts that come with each disc. One, two, three, four, five CDs. A very odd shaped poster of some sort. But anyway, I'm a big Jason Molina fan, and this is a highly sought after box set that I just uh, happened to pick up when it was brand new. Um, kind of shocked that it goes for so much, but I guess it really just kind of went up in value after his death, um, which was really sad. But yeah, I love Jason Molina and Songs of Haya and uh, the Magnolia Electric company. Boy, I'm going really slow. Here's some old box sets that I've had for a while. And this one is a really, I don't know. It's Billie Holiday, the complete Decca recordings. And it's really just a two disc set. Um, you know, it's got a nice, nice book like, you know, on the inside. Um, yeah, you know, some decent versions of Billie Holiday's stuff. Um, there's some great duets with Louis Armstrong on here. This is one uh, I've had forever too, um, but it's uh, The Temptations, uh, Emperors of Soul. And this is a uh, another five disc set. And it kind of folds open. It has this um, great book on the inside, Emperors of Soul. Some cool photos. Every disc 
is uh, chronological, um, and it goes through the the track listing there. It's um, it's singles. It's it's all the singles. It's uh, some of the B sides from those singles, um, deep cuts, especially the first three discs of this, just must have. Um, huge Temptations fan. I didn't even know I still had this. So this is, <laughs> that's Simon and Garfunkel um, complete uh, the Columbia studio recordings. I love Simon and Garfunkel. I'm not laughing at Simon and Garfunkel. I'm just laughing at this box. Because I think everybody has this one. <laughs> you know, with all the studio albums in it. Another Bruce box. This is the Darkness on the Edge of Town box. Um, this one is awesome. It has like this, uh, the whole thing is like a notebook. Like a composition spiral bound book. Um, really, really cool. It has uh, it has the album, it has outtakes, it has The Promise, it has a documentary on the making of The Promise, and a documentary on the um, the dark darkness. Well, no, a live, it's a live performance um, from whenever this came out, 2008. 2009 of the band performing the whole album on stage really with no audience and then there's a um, another disc that's a live it's a concert from that tour Bruce does boxes right and uh, for sure here's another uh, so this is the 25th anniversary edition of Graceland um, one word of this thing. <laughs> uh, but it has this um, that folds out and has the CDs in it, um, as well as this little bonus live EP. Um, and then there's just a bunch of other stuff in here, like a a poster. And the Graceland poster. What? Notes and lyrics. Are you kidding? <laughs> it's a theme in all of these things. The album, the live EP, uh, outtakes, um, the, uh, the African concert and, um, and then a DVD documentary on, um, that concert and a bit of making of the album. The complete Stax Volt singles. This is, um, 1959 and 1968. It's nine volumes. You see right there. Cool little hardbound book on the inside. Yeah. I mean, I could just put on, here's like the whole, everybody, it's on it. <laughs> I could just, I could put on every single one of these CDs and just let it play through and not be disappointed. Barely ever have the itch to skip a track. Great stuff. Need to listen to that more, really. Everybody's seen this one, right? <laughs> Everybody knows what that is, right? The Led Zeppelin Complete Studio Recordings box. If you didn't have this one, then you had at least the, um, the four CD uh, set of selected tracks, compilations. You know, every single one came in a book a book that had both albums or two albums each in it 
fold it open and, you know, add a CD. Yeah. Everybody knows that box. Had that one forever. Don't really need it anymore. So there's this really cool one. Uh, it's the band. Um, live at the Academy of Music 1971. This is basically every performance that they pieced together for the Rock of Ages album. A little clip, press clipping thing. Book with uh, all kinds of cool photos of the band, the guys. And then, you know, the info on each. Oh, there's a picture of all the reels. It's a one, two, three, four, five disc set. Yeah, different mixes of, of it and everything. It's, it's really cool. It's really more than you need. <laughs> All right. And then, of course, the Beatles box set. Um, boy, a little dust on it. I haven't, <laughs> haven't pulled this one out in a while. Um, yeah, everybody knows this box. Everybody knows that one. This is the last one of the CDs, and this is the Blur box set, which is the all of the albums. It's called Blur 21. Comes with this really cool book on the inside. Um, band photos and write-ups and information on the albums and yeah hardbound book and there's like uh came with this little download code thank you for purchasing blur 21 the box deluxe set came with a uh seven inch of an unreleased or a new release song or an or original or maybe it was a unreleased track they had for a while and then all of the studio albums and the rarities yeah blur box it's a blue cube love that box and really um i don't have any any of the albums that they reissued on vinyl i don't have any ogs of any of those vinyl albums I uh, had a bunch of these on CD already, and then this came out, and I traded all of those in. Because uh, this is really all I need, I think.